Hey folks, uh, this is where we start doing proofs. Have you heard of proofs? They are super fun. Just ask your neighbors. Okay, so angles formed by intersecting lines. So um, don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, MrMathBlog.com. And when you go there, we're going to do the integrated math uh, 2 link right there. And so we'll scroll down and I'll probably put that down right here. Notice it says module 12. Module 13 is for uh, integrated math 3, so is module 10. So anyways, I'll put that down there probably in blue. Okay, let's get started. So here's our question. How can we find the measures of angles that are formed by intersecting lines? Here we go. Angles formed by intersecting lines. Okay, some definitions. When two lines intersect, uh, the opposite angles are called vertical angles. So here's two lines intersecting. Vertical, vertical right there. Okay. And then adjacent angles are the next two angles. The next two angles. So one and Four are next to each other, one and two are next to each other, one and three are next to each other, and finally three and four are next to each other. So, so that's what uh, adjacent angles are. They're the next two angles right there. Okay. All right. So let's try a proof. We're going to follow the steps to write a plan for a proof uh, and a flow proof in the next part, part C. Uh, to prove that given angle 1 and 3 are vertical angles right here, so that means that these are lines right here, so two lines, and then the opposite angles are vertical angles, and we're going to prove that, that 1 is congruent to 3. Okay, so because uh, a linear pair, you guys, a linear pair means there are a pair of angles that make a straight line, a line, linear, linear pair. So 1 and 2 form a straight line. Okay, and then uh, 2 and 3 form this straight line, so they are a linear pair. And linear pairs, do you remember, they equal 180. They're supplementary. Supplementary is our word for 180 right there. So 1 and 2 equals 180, and then 2 and 3 equals 180, okay? So if you're in my class, I want you to write that stuff down right there, okay? You'll see why later, okay? So this means that 1 plus 2 equals 180, and 2 plus 3 equals 180. Now, I'm going to use this uh, uh, property that's called the, the substitution property. Since they both equal 180 right there, I'm going to substitute this value, 2 plus 3, in for this 180 right here, okay? So it's called the substitution property. And sometimes your books, I don't agree, but sometimes your books call this the, the transitive property. Um, we'll explain that later. The transitive property is a fancy form of a substitution property. And I, it, Anyways, it, it, this is a, a substitution property or a transitive property. We substituted this value in right here, okay? Transitive is a fancy form of substitution. So 1 plus 2 equals 2 plus 3. And then check this out. They both have... 2 on both sides of the equal sign. So we're going to subtract out 2. And when we subtract out 2, check this out. When we subtract out 2, this 2 cancels that 2. And we're left with 1 equals 3 right there. Okay. All right. So uh, uh, 1 is congruent to 3 because they're, the, the measures are equal to each other. Definition of uh, congruency. Okay. All right. So here's a plan for a proof. And this is found on your page uh, 679. So I've told my students to make sure they bring their books in and we're going to open it up to page 679 and we're going to fill out this proof. Okay, so given that angle 1 and 3 are vertical angles, so here's the picture that they gave us and that should be found on that page. So here's the vertical angles right here and we're going to prove that they're congruent right here. Okay, so right here it says we're going to just work around. We're going to go this way and then we're going to go this way at the same time okay all right so one and three are vertical angles now get used to this you guys that's always our first piece of information that was given so we write given right there okay okay and then right here it says um let's go up here it says one and two are a linear pair one and two are a linear pair and it says see the diagram so it says two and blank are a linear pair so here's a line right here so 2 and 3 are a linear pair. So let's go ahead and put that in right there, okay? All right, and then it says right here, it says 1 and 2 are, are blank and linear pair theorem, okay? So 1 and 2 are, okay, well, they add up to 180, and the word that means for that they add up to 180 are supplementary. So we'll put supplementary right there. 
And then check it out. It says down here, this is kind of our cheat thing right here. We look straight down. It says 2 and 3 are supplementary. And that's just the, the linear pair theorem. So this goes right here. And then the word supplementary goes right there. Okay. Okay. And then right here it says 1, one and 2 are supplementary. So that means 1 and 2 equal 180. And since 2 and 3 are supplementary, that means um, uh, the measure of angle 2 plus the measure of angle 3 equals 180. And so definition of supplementary, whoops, I forgot my G right there, supplementary angles right there, okay? Okay, so let's just keep going down right there. So right here, you guys, uh, 1 plus 2 equals 180, and 2 plus 3 equals 180. So what we're going to do is substitute this 2 plus 3 in right there for the 180. So it's going to be 1 plus 2 equals 2 plus 3, and that's what this says. So substitution should go right there, and your book likes to word that fancy word transitive property, okay? Okay, and then right here, what do we do right here? We subtracted 2 from both sides. So we subtracted the measure of angle 2. So if I, if I just cross that off and cross that off, it's called we subtracted the measure of angle 2 from both sides. And so, so that's what goes right there, subtraction property. And then uh, since the measure of angle 1 equals the measure of angle 2, that means that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. And that's what we we're trying to prove. Angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. Okay, so that's just called definition of congruency. Did I say 2? I meant 3. Okay, so, and I know you're thinking, what the heck does that mean? Well, if you follow along and you're kind of sort of nodding your head and thinking, oh, yeah, I kind of get it, I'm tickled. I think that's great because that's your first real proof right there. And most of the time we do a, what's called a two-column proof, and that's coming up, okay? Um, and I just need you to kind of think, okay, I, I, I know what's going on, and can I do that right away? Nope, but can I follow along? Yeah, and I, I'm good because uh, we're going to have this for the rest of our semester. All right, so vertical angle theorem. So we just proved that vertical angles are congruent. So if two angles are vertical, then the angles are congruent right there. So here we have uh, vertical angles are congruent. So um, uh, this angle is congruent to this angle, and this one is congruent to this one right here. All right, so let's try some of this, okay? Oh, and also, you guys, these two add up to 180. These two add up to 180. 180, 180. That's what all that stuff says right there. Okay, so find the measures of the missing the missing angles. Okay, 146. So right down below, they're 146. And supplementary, okay, or linear pair. Linear pairs add up to 180. So um, 146 plus 34 equals 180. So we can find out that those uh, other two angles are also uh, uh, 34. So five and six. Um, 5 and 7 are equal to 34 degrees, okay? All right, so let's uh, do a couple of little application problems. So the measures of two vertical angles are 58 degrees and 3x plus 4. So vertical angles are equal, so we set those equal to each other. Solve for x. Okay, x equals 18. Okay, so um, uh, it says find the value of x, so we're done. All right, so the measures of uh, two vertical angles are given by the expressions x plus 3, 2x minus 7. Find the value of x, and what's the measure of each angle? Okay, so they're equal to each other because they're vertical. So, so we're going to go ahead and add 7 to both sides, and then we subtract x from both sides. So x equals 10. Okay, x is almost always not the answer. So we're going to plug in x right here, x plus 3, 2 times... Um, uh, x minus 7, so so we're going to get um, uh, 13 on both of those, okay? All right. All right, so complementary angles are angles who add up to 90. Supplementary are ones that add up to 180. Do you remember that? Okay, so let's go ahead and um, use this diagram to find some angle measures. Okay, so the measure of angle AFC. Okay, so AFC is right here, A. F C. Okay, so here's a straight line. So straight lines are 180. So I see a right angle right there. So this has to be a right angle right there. Okay, so AFC has to be 90. Okay, AFB. Okay, so AFB. Okay, it's called the angle addition postulate right here. So 50 plus blank 
has to equal this 90 right here. So 50 plus uh, 50 plus 40 has to equal 90 right there. Okay, D F E. Okay, so D F E. Okay. Notice we have a line right here. We have a line right here. So this angle is a vertical angle with this angle right here, and they are congruent. So it's 40. Okay, so A F E. Okay, so A F. -E. E, okay, so there's a couple of ways to do this, okay, but I'm going to use this straight line. A straight line is 180, so this 40 and this angle right here form a linear pair, so it has to be 140 right there, okay? All right, so find the angle measures described, okay? So the measure of an angle is equal to the measure of its complement. Well, remember, a complement is adds up to 90. So if x equals the angle, then the rest of it is 90 minus x. Okay, so, so if the angle is equal to its complement, then uh, if we add x to both sides, plus x plus x, we get 2x. 2x equals 90, so x equals 45. Okay, here it says the measure of an angle is twice the measure of its supplement. Okay, so let's uh, let x be the angle. So the supplement is 180, so, so the rest of 180 is the supplement 180 minus x. Okay, so it says the measure of an angle is, that's, there's my equal sign, so x is equal to twice the supplement, so twice uh, that 180 minus x, okay? So twice the supplement is uh, 2 times 180 minus x. So if we put it all together, there we go. So the measure of the angle is twice the supplement. So when we solve for that, we find out that the, the angle is uh, 120 degrees. All right, you guys, if you are in our class, that would be your assignment. Take care.